Hi, I'm David Weed with Angle and Volkers, bringing you a Squamish real estate update for January 2020. And I'm coming at you from Whistler again. Very different story up here. Lots of snow, lots of powder. It's beautiful. You should get up here. Let's dive right into the stats. Checking out December stats uh, and also looking at 2019 as a whole. So let's start with the sales to active ratio. This ratio was 28% in December. That is up from November, which was 24%. It's way up from December 2018, which was only 7%. Uh, it is about the same as the five year December average, and it's up from the 10 year December average, which was 18%. So let's get into sales. 36 sales in December. That is actually down from November, which had 46 sales. Now, if we go back to the sales to active ratio, the sales to active ratio was higher in December, but the actual sales were lower. And that has to do with inventory, which we'll get into. Um, so 36 sales, lower than November, but much higher than December 2018, which saw December 2018, only 14 sales. And it is about the same as the five year December average. Uh, and it is higher than the 10 year December average, which was 29. Inventory, 133 for December, down from November, which was about 200, uh, quite a bit down from December 2018, which is 211. And it's lower than the five year December average and the 10 year December average. HPI benchmark price, essentially just a, uh, a better way to find an average price. So I'm going to look at detached. I'm going to be looking at the years, the years as a whole for an average. Uh, so the HPI benchmark price for 2019 for a detached home, 965000 It's actually down from 2018, which was 975000 If we look at 2017, it was 925000 And then it starts to dip a lot. 2016 was 780,000 and 20, uh, 2015 was 600,000. Big change there. So, market overall, what's happening? 2019, a bit of a ro roller coaster. Started off quite slow, ended off quite strong. Uh, my forecast, I mean, we're, we're in the thick of winter right now. It's still busy. The market's still strong. It leads me to believe that the spring is going to be a flurry of activity uh, leading to a very strong 2020. So we'll have to wait and find out if that happens and you'll have to wait out, uh, wait and find out for the next real estate market update. See what's going on. Anyways, I hope you're getting out there. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the new powder and uh, see you out there.